The Trinidad and Tobago Prison Service, alongside uh, NALIS, actually, they'll be hosting uh, Inmates Exhibition, the 11th installation of it, launching tomorrow. And this morning, I want to welcome the Programs Officer at the Trinidad and Tobago Prison Service, Mr. Wendell Bompart, alongside Ms. Debbie Goodman, who's the Manager of Corporate Communications at NALIS, to chat about the Inmate Art Exhibition 2022. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Morning, Rockers. Morning, one of the programs officers of the TNT Prison Service. Oh, uh, my, <laughs> my humblest okay, apologies. Right. That is okay. That's okay. That's okay. How are you guys doing this morning? Good, good. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. So let me start with you, Wendell. Uh, are, are you hearing me, Debbie? On and off. All right. All right. Let me start with Wendell. Wendell, I want to know the importance of this, uh, this program that happens annually. Uh, with regards to the prison, the prisons and the prison inmates. Well, annually, you know, actually it hasn't happened, of course, for the last couple of years due to COVID. But I mean, from since from early as 2009, 2010, um, the prison service we have been involved um, coming out of um, the initiative from a, a officer some years ago around that time, Mr. Ronald Morgan, who was based at the Carrera Prison and saw the 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 talent you know, um, that was coming out because he decided to put forward something to bring out the, 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 the artists and the, and the talent in some of the inmates at, um, at Carrera. And Rokas and TNT, I'm telling you, the, the art and the, the, the what came out, you know, the product that, that came out of, of, of that particular initiative, you know, we would have seen, of course, a drive to have, uh, you know, the, the inmates, of course, take part in more activities not just the academic, not just the vocational aspect of, of rehabilitation, but the, this aspect of, of art and, and using their talents and holding their skills and their creativity, you know, to unleash, you know, some of that energy, you know, and we would have seen that, you know, manifested itself in so many ways over the years. You know, it's been an awesome, awesome journey to see. Um, way back is, I think it's like 2011, 2012, being part of a career festa, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, we have inmates like Aladdin Muhammad and, and, and Nigel Mark and Leslie Huggins and these guys, you know, who they use the, the, the acrylics, they use their watercolors, you know, some of them use pencils, charcoal, you know, um, they use their creativity, they use their imagination, they use images of, 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 of celebrities that they would have seen over time, you know, to just, make this product that we that we see um over the last few years and we we are seeing today nice well i'm, I'm seeing somebody work showing we are, we're showing some of them on tv right now and you can see the depth and the breadth of the of the work that these guys have been oh, producing definitely, over the years. definitely anything about it some of these things some of these pieces take of course i mean a, a short while you know the artist will will have the idea because in carrera and then some of the other prisons there's a dedicated area for art you know, right. so they would take the expression, they would head to the canvas, and they would they would bring it out. You know, and and just to see it unfold. You see, even behind me, uh, pictures of 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 Anya Yamchi that was done by by um, Aladdin and some of these inmates. You know, it's a beautiful thing to watch on Four Rockers. Nice. Now, Ms. Goodman, I want to jump across to you a bit. Uh, can you tell me why it's important for Nalis to to showcase this artwork? Oh, it's extremely important because Nalis sees, well, let me just tell you that our mandate is to develop the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And clearly this is a promotion of and expression of person's ability. And Nalis has a relationship with the prison's um, service. We've had one since 2008 when we established our first library at YTC. And then of course we have libraries at women's prison and maximum security prison. And we are about promotion of persons. We are about rehabilitating persons. And this art exhibition really showcases the work the prison service has been doing in that regard. And I will tell you that we have, art is not strange to libraries. We have been displaying artwork for quite a number of years throughout our network. And we've had Roger Boothman, we have had Kitos Anderson, we have had Jared Gittens, um, master artist Leroy Clark. His works were just um, exhibited here in the library not too long ago. So, and we also have 
in our collection works of art. We have Leroy Clarks, we have um, Carly Chan, we have Bill Trotman, we have the original paintings and drawings of Wayne, Bar Wayne Barkley, um, Lionel Jagasa. So we are very much into art and we welcome this exhibition being here at the National Library from the 1st to the 15th of June. Uh, and it's happening down in the AV room, if I'm not mistaken. So the, the opening, the launch takes place in the AV room, which is on the 1st. Right. And then the exhibition will be mounted at the rotunda, so down on the ground floor. As soon as you enter into the library, you, you get to this wonderful skylit rotunda, and that's where the exhibition is going to be. All right, fantastic. And it's launching tomorrow. Wendell, can you tell me the theme for this year? The theme for, year, for this year, of course, is um, prison real and imagined, you know, and um, that is a, is a really fitting theme because, of course, within prison and behind prison walls, there would have been, I mean, several misconceptions, you know, ranging from, you know, people th are thinking that as inmates and, and, and prisoners that there are certain things that they, yes, are to be taken away, but also that they are to be treated a certain way. Um, and we always see that that inmates, you know, they are sent to prison as punishment and not for punishment. And people tend to forget that that the fact that you've had your your liberties um, of your your freedom of movement uh, um, taken away, you know, that that in itself is a punishment. So it's not that when they come behind prison walls that you need to treat them as bad as possible or anything like that. The prisons over the past few years, of course, yes, we have our motto of hold and treat, but we also stand in our five strategic priorities you know, of protect, correct, relate, restore, and reintegrate. And everything we do, you know, the prison service, not just the programs and industry department, not just the, 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 the youth training and rehabilitation center, but everything we do as a prison service is geared, is done with a level of intentionality. So even this art exhibition tomorrow, that starts tomorrow, um, where we, we, we let the public once again see the artwork and the creativity coming out from behind not just the painters and not just the 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 of the sketchers, but we have some some master craftsmen doing some fabulous work with palettes, doing some awesome work with wood. We have a young lady from um, women's prison doing some some very intense high tech, what I call high tech origami. You know, where you see some pieces and you're you're, you're amazed that it's paper. You know, so we really hope that people, whatever concept. That they may have, they may have a prison, whether it be real or imagined, that their whole, their whole uh, perception will change or will continue to change as we continue to strive for that, that, that inclusivity, you know, of our stakeholders. So that's that's what we're looking for. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning, Wendell, and also to you, Debbie Goodman, thank for joining you. us. Thank you and congratulations on this. I hope that we can continue to see this partnership uh, blossom and, of course, the, the inmates benefit as a result of it. And hopefully it will assist in their rehabilitation to come out and pursue a career in art. You never know. And you might never know. You might, you might, see, you might see a portrait of Rockers sometime soon. So <laughs> look out for that. <laughs> we'll see. So we we'll just see. want to remind guys. before we go... Rockers, if you allow us to just remind persons that the exhibition is going to be, it's free. You can come yeah. into the National Library building and um, from 8.30 to 5 p.m. Monday right. to Friday. On Saturday, it's 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. 9 to 12. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning thank and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. As the manager of corporate communications at Niles, Debbie Goodman, alongside one of the program officers at the Trinidad and Tobago Prison Service, service sorry, Wendell Bompart, we take a quick break and come back with more inside the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned.